the corner. All right, Jess Myers on the rink live. We are at the Hockey Expo 2022 state tournament going on. Happy to be joined by Steve Olseth, a, a recent inductee into the Gophers Hall of Fame. Steve, congratulations, first of all, on Thank that. Thank you very much, Jess. I appreciate that. You, uh, sure. you, you scored a few goals in your day uh, for, for a couple of different coaches there. Just tell us, uh, first of all, I got to have you tell this story again about how you got to be a Gopher because Badger Bob Johnson at Wisconsin was real interested in you and and Herbie, or, uh, uh, the assistant coach at the time, made you a, di a different offer. Tell us about that story. Badger Bob came to my house and said, uh, offered me a scholarship and could play along with his All-American center, Mike Eaves, the following season. And certainly was flattering. And, and however, my goal was to be a gopher. Yep. Um, and you know, they had just won two national championships with all Minnesota kids. And I kind of thought that was kind of for me. And so when Herb Brooks came to my house, he said, I can't offer you any money. We're all out. But here's what I promise you. If you make the team, I'll buy you a pair of skates. And uh, that's what happened. Fantastic. My, what? my parents were fortunate enough to say, you go where you want to go. So. Here, here's the question I haven't asked. What kind of skates were they? CCM Super Tax. Nice. <laughs> I love that. I went down to Stike and Sporting Goods on University <laughs> Avenue. So That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, you talk about you know some legendary coaches. You played for Herb Brooks, and then you played for Brad Buto. Um, difference in styles between the two? I mean, some people have said Brad was tried to be a clone of Herbie. You know, Tell me about the two different coaches and what well, that I was mean, like. Herbie was one of a kind. I mean, and, and I think Brad early on tried to do what Herbie did, and then you know found out that he wasn't Herbie and, and his players didn't. <laughs> probably uh, respond quite like they did with Herbie. So, Brad, you know, he was he was uh, a coach that, you know, there's an old saying that players only love you when they're playing, and, and he played me, so I thought he was a hell of a coach. But, you know, and, and I, I like Brad. He's, you know, been a good part of my career for sure. You've uh, never really left the hockey business. I know you've been involved with, uh, <laughs> with sporting goods for a long time now. Tell us about what you do now. I'm a manufacturer's rep for sporting goods. I've been doing it for you know, a long time, probably 30 plus years. Um, Right now I work for K1 Sportswear out of Cloquet, Minnesota. We're the number one hockey uniform supplier in the U.S. Uh, you see them all over the TV and, uh, and uh, youth associations around the metro so, and state, actually. So. How much fun is an event like this, state tournament? Oh, it's I great. Mean. I mean, the fun part is just seeing the people, the same people, and, and a lot of people who have been doing this for a long time, and everyone uh, everyone knows everybody, and it's just, it's just a blast. And the, the excitement of the young kids. I mean, I remember being those young kids when I was used to go at the Met Center, and they used to have it at the Thunderbird Hotel, so that's how long I've been doing this. <laughs> you know, tell us about you know how you got started in hockey. You know where you grew up, where you played, all well, of that stuff. Interesting story because my my parents both went, graduated from St. Paul Johnson. Okay. So you know, home of the governors, and they had, home uh, of Herb Brooks. Yeah, home of Herb Brooks, and um, you know the hockey tournament started, and I believe in 1946. My parents have had season tickets since 1956. I, wow! It, it, so I mean, that's that's what I, every year it comes out. That's our, you know, where we sit on the on the scale. But uh, I, I grew up playing here, uh, or coming here, and I was I was almost born in the hockey tournament. <laughs> um, and uh, but I, my parents got me involved. My my great uncle, um, and my uh, I guess would be my, my second cousin on my mom's side played for the 1955 state championship at Johnson. And it was just natural. Growing up in Roseville, we weren't far from St. Paul. Sure. We used to go to a lot of hockey games at Aldridge Arena, Johnson Roseau games, and, and it was old. You know, it was a it was a pretty fun time. That was an interesting rivalry too, Johnson and Roseau, because there were some connections with the coaches there, and and you yeah. know, you talk about opposite ends of the state, but they they had a traveling trophy, and I mean, it was great. It was well, I mean, it was a phenomenal you know phenomenal uh, rivalry, and you know, unfortunately, Johnson's falling on hard times. Just a lot of players, I. I noticed yesterday that they're going to have to uh, figure out what they're going to do next year for their program because they just don't have the bodies anymore. So. You talk to guys like uh, Moose uh, Younghands and you know guys like that who have been so dedicated to that program. Carl Fish, good defenseman, yeah. playing for the Gophers now. It's neat to see them still producing players, but you're absolutely right. The the numbers are such a challenge in the yeah, city just, right now. They're going to have to consolidate either with Highland Park or I know they've just been discussing with either North St. Paul and or Oak or Tartan, I believe. So yep. hopefully they can figure it out. Now, I look at the college hockey stats nowadays. If a guy has a 20-goal season, it's a really good year. You know, you look at the numbers that, that they put up in the era that you played, and, you know, 40 goals was a bad year back then. You know, just tell me about how hockey has changed and why there was maybe so much offense when, when you were a player. I think back when we were playing, it was more drop the puck and let's go. You know, mm -hmm. and there was 
a lot fewer, uh, you know, the defensive uh, mindsets of the coaches and the with a less structure, maybe. Yeah, and you know, you, you look now and the team will be carrying the puck out of their zone. There'll be five guys skating backwards. We know we never saw that. And, uh, and you know, we, and and you know, I, I played with you know, play with great players. I played with the Broughton brothers, Butsy Erickson, uh, Steve Kristoff, Timmy Har. Uh, a lot of those Olympic those, guys. There's yeah. a few guys that could score goals so, there. So, I mean, <laughs> it, it, as much as we they try and put us into a system, it was just like too hard in the puck, let's go. You know, and, and we think we can outscore you at the end, and a lot of times we did. So, a lot of fun. Yeah. That's great. So, you know, I talked to you a month or two ago. You got a, a pretty cool phone call. L latest member of the M Club Hall of Fame yes. at the University of Minnesota. What, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's really exciting. Um, very honored. Yep. Um, I wish my parents could have been around. Yep, know. yep. So. They were they were the ones that drove you to the rink a few times, I would imagine. Huh? Very much. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. Steve Alsa, K1 Sports and uh, yes. a member of the Gopher Hall of Fame, longtime Golden Gopher. We really appreciate you joining us. You bet, anytime. Jess Myers on the rink live. We're at the Hockey Expo at State Tournament 2022. Thanks.